welcome to the equipment episode on uh, Camilla and I. And if you've watched any of our uh, episodes before, Camilla and I like to go without taking any particular strain. No heavy backpacks for us. We like to take everything on a trolley. Anyway, I used the trolley so much I've practically worn out my stealth gear trolley. I must admit it was quite a good trolley, um, but bits did start to fall off it virtually as soon as I bought it. So uh, take note, stealth gear trolley. <laughs> bits fell off. Anyway, birthday arose and my mother very kindly bought me this brand new Eckler trolley. And um, yeah, made in Germany. I thought, yeah, it's going to be even better. So um, anyway, I've built it. It took me a while. We're at a basic wheel assembly. No problem at all. Didn't take long at all. But then we got onto the clever bits. And ooh, that was more fun. So the good bits for this trolley, I think, are... Um, it does seem to be quite a quality build. Um, these aluminium struts are supported by sort of metal brackets at various points. So hopefully it's stronger than my uh, previous uh, stealth gear trolley. But we will see to be tested yet under the pressure. And of course, to be fair to Eckler Trolley Systems, this is a system trolley which is out there to perform a variety of functions. One is even carrying guns. Ah! So um, anyway, we won't be carrying any guns, will we? Uh, come on. But um, we will be carrying our weapon of choice, which is the um, Sony a92 with the 200 to 600 millimeter now this weighs in at about three kilos on its own and one of the good points we like about this system is because i've adapted it now to suit my own purposes is the accessibility of things so now we have the tripod nicely accessible there with the gimbal head already attached then we have in the top half we have teleconverter very quick very quick location there and if I pop this bag lid open like so I now have instant access to Camilla herself which is wow, just like that so literally didn't do that very well did I but uh, yeah anyway you get the idea into action very smooth very quick so uh, that when it's open will be superb so uh, yeah yeah, very good um, system. Looks quite sturdy, trolley itself. Yep, but I have had to adapt it. And um, of course, you know, Eckler provide the basic trolley, and the basic trolley is very good. Um, putting the wheels on is no problem at all. Um, I consider myself sort of DIY plus level. So, um, yeah, no problem putting the wheels on. But the other bits have caused me some fun. Yeah, so uh, anyway, coming down to the lower section of the uh, bits I like about this, um, this extension bar, uh, very useful, because it's not quite enough to fit all the equipment on, not with the video equipment as well. And this is that spare head with the base plate, for those who watched my last video, when well, I forgot the base plate, it's attached to the tripod head, so, uh, well, the uh, video head. So uh, we're all right there. Gloves in this pocket here, brilliant. This tank bag here, superb. All down there. Absolutely brilliant access to Camilla. Instant access to Camilla, love that. Absolutely brilliant. So I have adapted it to my purposes. And um, yeah, I mean, it seems quite stout. A couple of big sturdy wheels on, which come off using these uh, locking pegs. Yeah, not bad. Um, same as the last system. Worked quite well on the last system. Hopefully it'll work just as well on this one. And they even provided a discreet bag for the wheels to go in. So if you get your wheels muddy, you can put them straight in the Eckler bag. Brilliant. So you get that. Eckler, subtle. If you see me out, put the wheels away. You'll know whose trolley it is. Right, so yeah, brilliant. Um, so I love, love, love the trolley. Looks great. 
But now we'll come on to my list of gripes and why I suggest if you purchase one of these trolleys, you allow at least a day to set the darn thing to your requirements. It's not necessarily Eckler's fault. Well, some are. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll just get the gripes up. I must say first of all that uh, despite all its faults it is looking quite good so far there are a little net lot of little stickers sticking around here as you may have noticed so I have got a few minor gripes and um, the first minor gripe I suppose is if I'm watching birdies and I'm sitting on my seat over here do I want to listen to <coughs> oh dear the entire bird flock has just left. Well, of course, there is a ruse to this one, so it's not quite as dire as you uh, may think. But if you uh, squeeze it in a bit and put it up more gently, <coughs> it's not so noisy. So, um, yeah, perhaps that's just me. Ah! Or was that a one of those clappers used at a football match? Could be useful. Could be useful. As I say, it's not a purpose-built birding trolley but I think it's a shooting trolley and um, various other things anyway you wouldn't want that noise going off but anyway yeah we've had the rat-a-tat-tat -tat of the sunscreen now the other thing is when you buy a sunscreen what they don't tell you is if you also wait a sec sorry ah! <laughs> if you purchase the sunscreen which I have here and you like that noise it also comes <coughs> with a piece which of course protects your back from the sun which of course goes on here but of course you can't put it on here when you've purchased the bar so you can't use this bit for the back to protect you from the sun when there's a bar on there so uh, yeah this became redundant having said that I thought of an excellent use for this which um oh, okay quick demonstrate now a bit off topic but you see this is what i mean you've got a basic trolley you have to adapt it to your own sort of circumstances so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do that i'm going to put this over here comme ça, and then i'm going to attach it there and there and then I'm going to have a pocket which I can put my kneeling mat in so um, so thanks for that sunshade which I can't use but I've now made it into a, a mat holder so uh, thanks Ekla force you to use your initiative so this redundant part is actually going to be reused <laughs> okay so uh, anyway, yeah, the point was, if you get in the sunscreen set and you don't get the bar, fine. But if you get the bar, think that you may have a redundant piece of cloth. Okay, so point on that one. Right, next item. Ah, we'll carry on on the redundant bits of kit item <laughs> while we're here. This is a redundant bit of kit because I thought it would be nice if I was able to lie the trolley down comes up like so on the resting on this bit here this bit comes out and acts as a foot but it doesn't when it's the sun shield you have to buy a separate item which is the additional support bar and it can't be used when the sunscreen's in place so you have to have one or the other okay you can't have the sunscreen and the other so don't buy the additional foot support if you've got the sunscreen i mean i may swap over so it's not a total disaster i won't send it back um yeah it's not uh, it's not worth the postage but um no i will just either have a support bar or one of these and the one thing i did notice as well <laughs> oh oh the niggles come thick and fast on this this one <laughs> sorry about this this sunscreen hood 
when I was underneath it, oh, oh, when I'd elevated it enough, when I'm underneath it, sitting in my chair, I'm not exactly massive, I'm five foot seven, my head was resting on the top of this, sitting in the seat, and it's not tremendously comfortable. So you sort of like have to have the sunscreen quite elevated quite high to, to accommodate your head. If you're six foot, I think you'd have a real problem. So also, while we're still on the uh, top section, I found that the, uh, the bar, although it was quite easy to install, um, actually contains these little um, brackets, which are very, uh, very good for positioning off your equipment. And uh, indeed, I actually took one of these brackets off because I found three too many for my requirements. You see, it's not an exact science, this trolley. You have to adapt it to your own needs. But what I did not expect to have to adapt was these actual little plugs. They come supplied like this. <coughs> and um, I used one of the bits of rubber to help insulate the ends of these things because becoming coming supplied like so there's a chance that um, the equipment will knock against that my very expensive um, tripod head will knock against that metal against metal so I'll be wrecking my tripod head in no time at all so Eckler please either extend or get some molded plastic or molded rubber just to extend those out round the things. So I've adapted these two to accommodate my tripod head, but it's not brilliant, it's not very good. And if I hadn't noticed, I would have a damaged tripod head on my hands after my first outing. So uh, point to note. Or somebody's also been a bit mean with the, uh, the rubber. <laughs> Whoever's in the factory, cut the rubber a bit longer. <laughs> So now we come down to the uh, lower half of the trolley and uh, my little gripes and niggles about the lower half of the trolley. Okay, Whew. it's getting hard work this one. I thought this was a five minute video. Sorry folks, obviously Eckler trolley deserves more time. Okay, these pens guys, Eckler, not convinced. Laffy to say the least. You, you catch your fingers on them, putting them in and out. They're a little bit fiddly to operate. They lock back on themselves. If you don't put them exactly right in the thing, they think, and they they lock the position of the trolley in the upright position. And um, also, the both the um, the base, the carrying part, and the seat part is locked into position. And each time you either transport or lock away really you should lock the pins off and um, anyway a bit natty a bit natty um, also noticed if you leave them off you know imagine you're a bit tired you've been out all day and you forget to put them away and they're sort of like there not great um, I'm going to have to tie them up a bit so so um, yeah, I might have, put, might have to adapt something there, I think, to uh, just make them... Yeah, I'd have to put a little bit of um, something there, just to keep that from falling down. I'll, uh, I'll put a little bit of uh, something in there. But again, it's a little point, but, you know, could be very annoying. Could be very annoying. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, dangly bits. Don't need a pair of earrings with a trolley. Okay, right, on to the next gripe. Oh, the next gripe has got to be my biggest gripe of all about this trolley. I made the mistake of ordering the bottle holders or the, uh, the drinks holder. And um, what I didn't realise was I was ordering a latte or something with my trolley. Because the bottle holder is by no means deep enough. To hold a bottle. That does not hold a bottle. Here is my rather small flask and it's only a foot long flask and that bottle holder is what six inches? Sinks slightly in. But don't you think that's going to fall out folks? I do. 
it's only nine pounds so no we'll bother anyway i'll just get a bigger bottle okay i'll get a bigger bottle so it doesn't pop around so sort of that one but silly fine for a latte or a cappuccino cappuccino anyway the next problem i had is i must have spent an hour trying to fix this onto the trolley i'd already sussed that it wasn't big enough for a bottle but I thought well I'll use it anyway as I said I thought I'll get another um, another type of bottle you try and locate this thing on this particular model of trolley well in the end I eventually got one on in this position up here it's supposed to go just above this wheel section here on the other side but it basically fails to connect using the two. It's got these two Velcro strips, which presumably one goes around a top bar. Although you have to think when one goes around a top bar, the Velcro is not fully used, so there's a problem there straight away. But um, say that goes around a bar, and there's a bottom bar. There's no way on this trolley. But there's a bottom bar and a vertical bar. There's not a horizontal bar and a vertical bar on the whole trolley that will accommodate this. Well, hello again, guys. I had to uh, stop the uh, last part of the last review because uh, I ran out of uh, memory card, which was probably just as well because it was getting more interesting with the uh, Eckler cart. And um, anyway, I would, I'd left it, I think, on the water bottle problem and um, that was quite infuriating but eventually I did find a place for it and located it up here and the really good news is I have now got a water bottle or a flask that will actually fit in the holder so uh, a result we've actually got that part sorted out but unfortunately I must admit that's about as good as it got for this trolley because since the uh, halfway through the review, the unboxing and unveiling and whatnot, I've actually used the trolley and now it's become really painful. <laughs> Which um, is a bit of a surprise really because it's a more expensive trolley than the one I'm sitting on and um, it's German made, um, built quite well in a way but uh, problems I thought would occur with it, obviously I must have thought processes must have forced the errors but uh, no I don't think so unfortunately I think the, um, the design faults were already in and um, the first key design fault using it won't worry about the bottle holder oh I did find a use for the other second bottle holder I put it on my old trolley because I'll be using that quite a bit as you'll see later on from this review um, anyway the problem with this trolley one of the problems with the toy is it's heavier. It's a lot heavier than the one I'm sitting on. And you see this wheel design here. Um, I'll link to a wheel design picture. Because it's not cantilevered in any way, or somebody who's expert in ergonomics will probably tell me, but um, because the wheel is directly on the main axis, it's got no pivotal counterbalance facilities. It's got no cart-like ability. So you're basically dragging along on its axis. So all the weight is pivoted on the top section of what you're pulling along. So it's quite a heavy trolley anyway, and it tends to want to fall over even more with the weight of the, uh, of the load. So it's actually more awkward and more difficult to get around with this trolley as opposed to this one which has got this sort of bootleg design on it which um, so I'll show you in the insert silly little thing but say some ergonomic person will tell me no doubt that uh, why this uh, is a particular floor and boy it's a particular floor I mean it's obviously so they can accommodate the seat and the, um, and the equipment rest so um, anyway, it makes it very heavy and I was tending to, normally with the trolley you pull it and um, this trolley I pull along. With this trolley, 
I was pushing it because I was trying to balance the wheels in the centre so that it took the load. Otherwise, a lot of the load is on the shoulders and back on the person actually pulling the trolley. Crazy! Wouldn't believe it would make a difference, but perhaps somebody will tell me in the comments what I'm doing wrong or uh, <laughs> whether it's a particular... I think it's an ergonomic mistake. I think, I think it's, it's a design flaw and that's why it doesn't pull as well. So the basic function, it doesn't do as well as this trolley. Um, what I alluded to in the first half as well, of course, <laughs> I did it straight away. First outing, I damaged the locking pins on, on the actual trolley here, linked to locking pins on the trolley. And um, subsequently, I've repaired the damage. But, um, you know, I was lucky, I was just able to knock it back in. But these locking pins are quite natty. I put this bit on here. Um, this lock off mechanism here doesn't really work. And um, of course, I forgot that the pin was in and tried unloading the seat, and of course, buckled the whole assembly uh, as you would. I mean, it was bound to happen. Didn't expect it to happen first outing, but there we are. Um, first outing, buckled the um, thing and um, damaged, the, damaged the leg. Ah, back again. Yeah, this. Uh, new uh, Sony vlogging camera, the uh, ZV-1. It must have an anti-rant mode or something because um, it uh, cut me off again because I uh, hadn't fin quite finished my rant. But um, anyway, <laughs> uh, to conclude, conclusion is that um, basically I will be using the trolley I'm sitting in for longer distances from the car and this rather nice new trolley, a uh, rather expensive new trolley, I should be using on the shorter distances. Um, so, uh, yeah, bit of a mistake really. But, um, yeah, we don't always get it right. So hopefully my mistake has been useful to you and you will not purchase the Ecla, um trolley for camera equipment. I mean, it may be brilliant for guns and if you're a strapping six-foot... Um, person um, then you know you probably think I'm a complete wimp and um, you know I should be pulling around this trolley no problem at all um, but anyway let me know in the comments below uh, if you've got one of these trolleys and uh, whether you've experienced um, similar experiences with it or whether it's just me but personally I'll be using the one I'm sitting on for long distance and this one for short distances but um, yeah bit of a mistake really um, sorry mother it was a nice um, it was a nice birthday present idea but uh, you don't always get necessarily what you want so uh, that's why I do reviews like this I wish I'd seen a review like this before I purchased this trolley <laughs> anyway we live and learn bye for now from Camilla and I.